All right, Trooper Prince, talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. What's up, guys? Trooper Prince here. I'm going to show you guys some dumbbell exercises you can do to build some bolder shoulders, right? We all want bolder shoulders. We don't want no little rocks, no pebbles. Bolder shoulders. So first thing I'm going to do is grab, I'm going to show you stuff, uh, some presses and some raises. We're going to break everything down to presses and raises. For the presses, you need your heavy, heavier pair of dumbbells. And then I'd say if you have a lighter pair of dumbbells, grab those as well. So two pairs of dumbbells would be great. Uh, I'm gonna demonstrate 25s today because I'm showing you quite a bit of reps. Uh, but generally, I might go a little heavier for myself, but choose the right weight that works for you. Um, the first press I'm gonna show you is a very popular, um, it's made popular by Arnold Schwarzenegger himself, uh, known as the Arnold Press. So you can do this sitting, standing, uh, you can even do it kneeling. Kneeling takes, sometimes when you get tired, you start pushing from your legs. Uh, if you find yourself doing that, I'll show you how you can do it kneeling as well. But basically, you're gonna start with the dumbbells eye level like this, twist and press. You got it? So eye level, air level, press. Once you get that movement down, make it smooth, right? The reason that you keep your eye level is keeping time and attention on the shoulders. If I drop it down here, I'm resting my shoulders. I wanna keep my shoulders active the whole time. My shoulders are working here, shoulders are working here, shoulders are working here, no mercy for the shoulders. No mercy for the shoulders, right? We wanna work there. There's no mercy in work, all right? So that is the Arnold shoulder press. Um, another one that's really good, is a reverse shoulder press, basically, where you hold the dumbbells, um, palms facing your face. You won't get a full press on this, but that's okay, we're targeting the shoulders. The top of the press tends to get the triceps involved anyway, which is okay, but right now, this is the reverse press. So you may notice my elbows are not gonna completely extend, especially if the weight's heavy, but I'm going as high as I can. My front, the anterior shoulders are working really hard in this position. Got it? So when I do that, I'm getting really focusing, because my arms are in a turned in position, I'm getting those the, uh, anterior delts, the front of the delts, working more. The delts have anterior, lateral, and rear delts. And I'm gonna show you how to work all of them today, all right? Another one that is dynamic, very similar, is the reverse Arnold. It's the third one, reverse Arnold. So you're gonna put those two together. Basically hold the eye level, do your, shoulder pre your reverse shoulder press, twist out here, you hold here, isometric hold, Back, press again. Isometric hold, reverse press again. Isometric hold, reverse press again, and get them reps in like so. When I'm pressing, very especially standing, it's very tempting to arch back and press like that. You wanna make sure you're bracing your core so you're not hurt, you know, uh, end up injuring your back. Keep that in mind, especially when using heavy dumbbells. Uh, another one is gonna be an isometric. There's so many, I'm gonna show you a couple. I'm gonna show you how to mix up a few. Another one is gonna be a, a neutral grip press, which is holding it like this, right? This is the reverse grip, neutral grip, and we have the, the, the wide grip. So with the neutral grip, what I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna do an isometric hold, meaning press to the top, right? Keep it up, bring one arm down at a time. These are called, it's called a seesaw isometric hold press. So it's a combination between a seesaw and an isometric hold, and we're doing it with a neutral grip. Got it? Keep my arm up while the other one comes down. All right, so I'm gonna feel that burn already because I'm showing you guys a couple. Um, so that's another one you can do. Uh, let's go into the lighter dumbbells to show you some of the raises. Uh, so that, that's some of the presses you can do. Now, for raises, you, so when I'm doing a press, just so you guys understand the difference, with a press, you're getting tricep work as well, as well as your shoulders, right? You're, you're lifting with your shoulders, but your tricep is a helper muscle, or a synergist, as it's called. Uh, with the raises, we're isolating. We're working, we're working just the shoulders. And now depending on which part of our shoulder we want to work, that's going to determine the angle and the move that we're doing. So I'm going to start with the most, probably the most common one that everyone knows, the lateral raise, but I'm going to show you how to do it the most effective way. All right, so lateral raise, as everyone knows it, is to lift your arms up to the side. Now, people that do it right, the effective way to do it is you want to start with the dumbbells in front of you, like this, kind of dumbbells touching, you want to come up at an angle, like you're pouring a cup, right? Thumb til uh, tilting slightly down, about 45 degrees. Got it? So that little angle. So again, what's the difference? This. This is the difference. So you want to thumb, thumbs facing down, come over here, angle right back up. Right back up. Right? Notice I'm not resting at the bottom. You walk through the gym, you see people with dumbbells, they're doing this. They're resting, raise, resting. Don't do that. Keep it right here, going up, down, right back up. 
down right back up. Don't forget that pro tip of tilting slightly forward the thumb. Cool? Remember, don't tend to show you nothing. That's a good, that's a good tip. That's gonna make a difference in your goal um, as far as the results you're seeing. Uh, another one that everyone pretty much knows is the front raise. This is pretty straightforward, pun intended. Uh, keeping, bring it up eye level. Again, down right back up, right? Time under tension. If you rest here, you're releasing the, te the tension. We wanna keep as much time under tension by keeping our arm moving. Also going slow on the way down, creates more time under tension. Tut is king. Tut is king. Time under tension is gonna get you them king shoulders, them bolder shoulders. Slow on the way down, right back up. Slow on the way down, right back up. Don't let my face fool you, this is killing me, right? I'm feeling the burn already, just showing you guys. So, those are two basic raises. This one was working the lateral delts, right, which is the, the, uh, the side, if you will. You can, see, you can even see it firing up right now, right? And when I'm doing the front, here. You can play with the grip. If you turn it out to a neutral grip, this is also gonna hit even more of that front delta as well. So let me go ahead and show you that as well. And I'm gonna play with it, mix it up a little bit for you. So just like we did the isometric single arm, you can also do a seesaw, one arm at a time here, alternating sides, raising up like so. Got it? Now what's the difference with this front raise? I'm, I'm doing thumb facing up, which does change the angle and does hit more of the, even more of the anterior delt. You could go even further, play with even more. Palms facing up, you're gonna get some chest involved as well, for sure, but definitely be opening up that anterior delt and putting it to work. That part that tries to hide. Now, bro, come out. Come out, baby. Come out and work, come out and play. Right, so we're gonna go hit every angle to really target all parts of that shoulder. Don't let no part of your shoulder hide and not do some of the work. All right, so that's, a, that's some of the raises. Uh, then there's some more dynamic raises you can do as well. We had with the front raise, we had the lateral raise, we switched it up to the alternating thumb up raise. You can also do an arching raise. Uh, and this was gonna be a little bit more dynamic and tough, but uh, come out, you can basically go from the lateral raise into a front raise all in one. That looks like this, swooping. And you wanna go a little higher than eye level, preferably make an arch, right, about forehead level, down, right back up. All controlled, smooth movement. Don't let any of the muscle fibers get to skip work. All of y'all gotta work. All of y'all gotta work. Every last fiber. So I'm gonna move slow so it hits everything. Got it? And that is the way you wanna do it. Bring those dumbbells together to the top like that. Uh, so those are a few raises. Again, working the lateral and front delts together, getting a little more dynamic uh, as well. Now, which part of those shoulders did we not hit yet? We didn't hit the rear delts. Right, that's important. A lot of times, people don't know how to hit these rear delts because a lot of the moves that you, that you that do work them also work your back. For example, a reverse fly that we know to work back like this, right? It does work our rear delts, but it really, if you have a strong back, your back's gonna do a lot of the work and you might not develop the rear delt the way you want to for the aesthetics, right? Or maybe just for, per, for strength purposes. Anyway, either way. Uh, the way to fix that is the positioning of your hand. What you're gonna do is go thumb facing down. You'll see the difference while I'm doing this. So just do a regular fly, and then I'm gonna go, this is a rear delt fly. Boom, right, boom. My shoulders have to pick this weight up, right? The back of my delts are picking this up. Good, what's very important about this too that I don't wanna overlook is your positioning when doing a bent over move period. Uh, you wanna make sure you're hinging, pushing your hips back, your hamstrings should feel loaded, and your spine should be neutral. You never wanna have your back arc, uh, hunched like this. That's not safe for your spine. Real quick cues that can fix it. If you ever find yourself in this position, you wanna push your tailbone out and pick your chest up, and that'll straighten your spine. Cool? And then don't forget, thumbs facing down to screw the shoulder blades with those rear delt flies. Um, another quick little uh, other tips. Isometric holds, I'm a fan of them. Just holding out like this, good finishers. Holding it up, maybe changing the grip, right? That whole like 30 seconds a clip or 15 seconds a clip, you choose um, you know, how long you're holding each position. Uh, really building that strength in those shoulders. And then another thing that you wanna do is all those moves, you can play around with the range of motion as well. Doing partials are great for building size in your shoulders. So for example, especially using really heavy dumbbells, maybe not getting the whole way up, 
But I'm a fan, you want to build shoulders. People, if you see anybody with really big shoulders, they do mess around with partials. They do mess around with doing more volume in those partial movements, right? Doing presses, not full range. Like I told you, the top, your triceps are working. Right here, your shoulders are working more. So the more time and attention specific on the shoulders, it's gonna build your size on the shoulders as well. I'm not saying don't do full range, I'm saying do both. I'm saying mix it up. That's the takeaway from here today. Mix it up, do a lot of volume, and keep the time and attention. And I guarantee you, you will see a change in your body. Uh, that's basically what I got for you right now for dumbbells and shoulders. I'll show you some more another time. All right, so uh, my name is Trooper Prince. You can uh, subscribe to me on YouTube, Instagram, and also check out um, Trooper On Demand, my app. If you want to do a 20 minute workout, uh, the videos that show you how to do these stuff, I work, work through it with you, it guides you, push you, motivate you. 20 minutes strength exercises, all you need is either dumbbells, bands, or even body weight, and I'm there for you. This is Trooper Prince. Uh, hope to see you soon. All right, thanks a lot. Appreciate you, bro.